So this is going to be a creative stream because uh, I want to do my nails and I've been putting it off for a few days. And I like to have my nails done. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. Uh, I don't have another camera to work with, so I'm going to move my laptop, or, uh, laptop around, laptop or off. Uh, so it might be a little wobbly, but again, this is my first creative stream, so it's kind of an experiment. Um, so I'm just waiting to see if my stuff is going to pop up, and I want it to pop up, and it's not popping up. Let's see. That might take a minute or so. So it's just going to be a chill stream. Probably going to play um, some Pandora. Just to have some music playing while I'm doing this because um, it's not going to be the most fascinating thing ever. Really? Archer, don't... Oh my god, he just bit her tail. Well, that was fucking rude. Okay, here I am. And it's showing up. Gonna need something for chat. It looks like it's working. Let me see. Yep, it works. So, let's put on some Pandora. And probably should turn off my TV just to make it better. Start my hour of ad free listening. Sure! Let me turn off my PlayStation. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to see anything about. Okay. Oh, thank you. It's not too loud, right? I don't need it to be that loud. And I talk over it. So this is my um basket of nail stuff. As you see, we have our acetone nail polish remover. Don't need that. Nail dryer. Coconut scented. I hate coconut. I don't know why I bought it. But um, the only things I really need are this which is a bag full of Sally Hansen's nail polish strips, so I'm going to pick out which ones I want from there. Um, I have the lamp, the nail cure lamp, see the things up there. The Cures Gel nail polish. So I need to get out the plug for it, which is right here. Right? Um... Gel coat. I'm going to grab another one just to make sure I have enough. And I'm going to have to grab a nail file because that's what I use to uh, make sure the nail can be pressed down. I think it's in this bag. I'm not sure. I organized this a little while ago, but it's not very organized to be can't really be able to find everything that I need right away. But I know it's in one of these pouchy things. And here we go. So usually the Sailing Hansen nail things come with this. I use the stick to, um, after I apply, I make edges around my nails so that it stays there. And it fits my nail perfectly. 
And then I use the file to file down any excess um, nail polish strip that's left on the strip. So now I need to figure out and get a chat up so I know if anybody's talking to me. Okay. Let's make this smaller. No, I can't do that. That's fine. Let's put that right there so I can see kind of what I'm seeing, looking at, maybe. Kind of. You gonna work? Oh, well, chat might actually pop up on my screen as well, so it might help. Um, so, we have a lot of nail strips to choose from. I, uh, I don't think I want to use this one, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like. These are stickers. I tend not to use these because they don't stay on very long, even if you um, put it with gel. Neither do the Essie ones. I tend to use them on my toes more often than anything, but they're, I mean, they're cute. You can see that they have little designs and stuff. Um, I was thinking of maybe using this, kind of a lacy nail. Another one that I have is that. It's a snake skin. It's kind of cool. I use that a lot, so I'm not going to go, I'm not going to use that one. And then I have kind of an Ed Hardy <laughs> looking one. It says forever on there. It's not really my style, but I just bought it anyway. Because uh, most of the time when I bought them, they were at the Dollar Tree. So they were a dollar, so why not buy them? And then whatever I feel like buying. See, this is a purple one. Or whatever I feel like using, I'll just use. See that they have um, regular colors. I think this is a gel one, if I'm not mistaken. Because they also make gel nail polish strips. So. Um, I don't think I want this one either. It might just wind up being a lace. Unless I find a red lace one. This one looks like a pair of blue jeans. Let me show you. So there's always going to be a risk of like them drying out. So if that's the case, this is going to be a difficult fingernail doing thing. See, this is a silver snake skin. Maybe I'll use this. I don't know. I always like these little birdie ones. These actually might be dried out. Shy, Shy Bridge, hey, you have a fan page called Bricky Nails? Oh, that's cool. How you doing? Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining. Um, and then I have, this is a giraffe one. This is a cute one, too. And then, I can't find the lace ones. I don't know where the hell it is. On Facebook? That's cool. So what, you do nails and stuff? So it was, um, hearts and kisses. Very girly. Got another one right here that's, uh, super girly as well. Which I tend to use more around Valentine's Day and stuff like that. Oh, I can't find it. Here's a red one. It's a regular. I know this one for sure is a gel one. But we're not going to do that. A green one. A black one. I guess I can't find the lace. Let's see. Oh, and it's also good. These are normally like alcohol strips. It's literally just uh, rubbing alcohol strips that you use to disinfect things. But after you put um, the top, jo top, jo top coat of gel on your nail... Uh, it's good to wipe off the excess because your nails will be a little sticky. But it looks like I cannot find the lace that I was hoping to find. So I guess it's a question of whether I want to do the black lace or this 
silver snake one, which I don't really want to do. Or maybe I can do a girly one since I never did it before. Got a bunch of flowers here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. What do I want to do? Lace, silver, lace, silver, snakeskin, or I don't even know. I have a lot of the same ones here because I haven't seen them at the store lately. But when I do see the ones that I like, I I buy them a lot. Oh, thank you for the follow, Shy Bridge. I don't know if my uh, Twitch alerts are working. It sucks, but if it's not, because it would normally show you a kitty cat chasing a laser. Um, but it looks like it's not going to do that, so I'm sorry for that. But thank you for uh, following my page or my channel. Welcome to the Kitty Butt Army. The more you watch, the more catnip seeds you gain. Um, that you can use for sound effects. That can scare me, and if you scare me during one of the games that I'm playing, uh, you will get 25 catnip seeds. There are also mini games and stuff like that for you to play. Um, I can start you off with 100 since you joined, because that's what I normally do. So let's do that. Let's give you 100 right here. Gotta find it though. Here we go. Let's add a modifier point. Okay, so maybe I won't mess it up. Okay, here we go. And there you go. You got 114 points. Good job. Thank you for joining. So, um, I guess I'll do the black lace. I found a zebra one here, but I don't, don't feel like it. I thought I had a red lace one. It's basically, it's this, but it's red. But I guess I'll just do this. Hopefully they're not dried out, because if they're dried out, it's going to be a big pain in the ass. A big pain in the ass. Let's put all this, get all the work stuff out of the way. And uh, I was saying earlier, I don't have another webcam, so you're probably going to see my hands for most of the stream. And I'm going to be moving. Oh, here it is! Oh, I found it! Oh my god, yay! I'm glad I found it. <laughs> Alright. So we have everything. We don't need all that crap here. Move that out of the way. So, open this up, which has your file and your poking stick. I don't know. Um,. I don't even know what, what is it even called. Let's see what it's called. I just call it like a cuticle press. It, ba it basically is. I'm sure you can use any one of them, but these tend to be better than the um, metal ones because I feel like the metal ones would be more. I mean, I've I've tried using it before, and they're more than likely to scratch off part of the the nail strip that you don't want to have scratched off. So. Um, yeah, push back cuticles with wooden stick. That's what it's called. A wooden stick. Um, yeah. Let me see. Put the plastic and stuff in here. And as you can see, this is going to be interesting. Because I don't have a, I don't have a thing. I should probably get my other laptop to set up chat so I can see, but it's okay. So, my nails are already filed, and I've been putting uh, cuticle oil on them. I wonder if I should show you what that is. Let me go grab it. Actually, wait. I might have more in here. Because I know it came in a pack of four. I'm putting all my, my nail polish. Oh, 
see if it was here. Oh, here it is. Awesome. Okay. So I got these from Amazon. It's called Simply Pure. Bliss Kiss, Simply Pure, Cuticle, whatever. Um, but it looks like this. And basically, you take this top off, and this is a brush right here. And you turn the bottom here. And then you put it all over your nail, and then you rub it in, just like cuticle oil. But apparently it's really good for your nails. Uh, hydrating oil, ingredients, jojoba, wax, ester, grapeseed oil, olive oil, olive squalene, vitamin A, vitamin E, fragrance oil blend, tea tree oil, omitted and fragrance free. Oh, I guess it's not. Yeah, fragrance oil blend, so it's not fragrance free. It smells really good. Uh, point bristles up and twist and 15 to 40 clicks to start pen. Apply one click of all of oil to each nail and skin frequently for external use only. But um, apparently you can eat it if you were so desperate to eat it. Um, I haven't gone through one of these yet. It came with four. Um, but that's because I've when I do my nails the way that I'm showing you guys today. It's because it lasts for several weeks, and I wouldn't recommend putting oil on your nails after you have nail polish strips on them, because then it could lead to the strip coming off. Um, so let's take the tape off of here, because I did that so I wouldn't lose it. Put it right there. And then, I'm not really feeling what I'm listening to right now, so let's change this to something less angry and more girly. and French. Okay, so you have two of these. I usually open them up at the same time using the wooden stick and because I'm so very familiar with um, how to do my nails, I've done this for years, I know what my nail sizes are, but each pack comes in a strip of 10. I think it's 10 or a pack of 10. Um, and it's a lot of just little pieces of garbage that's going to just be everywhere um, because they have the applicator right here. Oops, yeah, right here. See it? See, it says peel there or whatever. So it's going to be a lot of mess, but I mean, it's on a table. I shouldn't really have to sweep anything up off the floor. So I use the pointy end and I stab in here around it just so that it doesn't you know and here you go take them out it smells like it's still the polish is still uh not wet but you know like see one two three four five six seven oh it comes in eight okay but you don't need all eight um i do have wide fingernails i've noticed I'm sure other people have had this problem with these. See how they come in different sizes? Uh, so let me turn my laptop. And I'm very sorry if this starts to wibble wobble on you. And hopefully my laptop doesn't fall because I'm going to be upset. But since I know my nail size, this is for my thumb. So I set that, what? I'll set it right here so you guys can see. Right there. And I use the next one for my ring finger. And then I usually use this one for my pinky. And I set aside this one in the middle because, um, like I said, these two fingers tend to get, there's, there's going to be like a little strip right here that won't fill from these strips alone. So I hold on to this. Um, I'm going to put that over there off screen. Let me just make sure you guys can see this. Let's see. Yeah, you guys can see it. Uh, so I'm going to open the other one and just get it set up because I tend to do my pinkies first because you're going to be using your thumbs and it just makes it easier to uh, have it all set up. 
So then in case, let's see, let me see where I should set my hands, right here. Um, so I washed my hands already, and they're filed, like I said. Uh, everything is fine, my cuticles are fine. I put the oil on yesterday, so they're pretty hydrated. Um, I'm getting a little warm, so I'm going to get up and move my fan to face me, and then we'll get started. Okay, that's better. All right. Um, it's kind of weird doing this on here. I haven't done this ever. And let's hope that these aren't dry. So we start off, we lift up the plastic peeling. Yeah, see, it's sticking to the plastic. Crap! All right. Let's see if I can concentrate and have this thing stay on the... Paper, it doesn't look like it wants to. I might end up ripping this and I'm gonna be very sad. So when you have them for a long time, they wind up staying on there, but it looks like I'm kind of getting it off. Please don't rip. Oh, here we go, okay. Well, the plastic kind of came off, so that's awesome. Not really, but you know what I mean. Um, let's see. Oh, I could see the strip of plastic right in freaking next to uh, it. pisses me off. Well, I'm just going to take it off of here and see if I can take off the plastic without harming the actual decal. Oh, here we go. Yay, I did it. And it sticks to your fingers a lot, the plastic, so it's really hard to, like, let's see, because it's that actual nail polish strip with a little adhesive. So, hopefully you guys can see this pretty well. Um, it's, I've never done this again, so this is going to be a little hard for me to show you. But make sure it's at the edge of your nail. Press it down a little bit. And it's covering my nail, right? Not really. Let me do that again. So. Yeah, there we go. Now it's covering it. So basically you just roll it to the other side of your nail. Press it down up here. See, it's pretty much covered. Make sure uh, there aren't any lines. See how it's covering? that side and you press it down here yeah there's gonna be excess here because obviously it doesn't fit so I'm gonna trim this up here to the point where it goes under the pretty much under the cuticle you gotta be really careful otherwise it's gonna see I started to do it a little bit plus it's super sticky so it doesn't want to leave my skin but if you take your time and do it, see, there you go, that fits. It's a little fucked up, but it's fine. There we go. And then uh, we take this and we just file off so that the excess comes off. And there you go. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, so there's number one. How's that look? Looks nice. It's covering my full nail. See? Yeah. And we do the gel last because uh, that would just that would just screw everything up if we did it all at once. It would just be super messy. And look at the plastic is coming off of this one. Yay! And then I usually just peel from here. Hopefully it doesn't. Yay, it's listening. Oh, my God. Well, I'll tear off that anyway because it was kind of easier because it was wider at the top. So then again, we put it on our nail. And my, my big fingers are in the way for everybody who wants to see. And we stretch it over and press it down, right? Make sure there are no lines again. And there we go. And then we use the tool again. 
It's really hard to do this while showing other people. <laughs> showing a camera. Because normally I'd be like like this trying to do it. Or sitting on the couch and doing it because, you know, it's the first time doing creative for viewers. So. I'm so afraid I'm going to scratch it off and I don't want to. But once you know you have like a clear cut. There we go. See, look, it's coming off. There we go. Yeah. So there's a little excess here. It's just a tiny corner. But it'll probably... There we go. It's coming off. The thing with this is you just got to take your time. I would say it takes some patience. Um, I would say I'm also doing it a little faster than other people may be doing it at home because... Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I've done this since these first came out. I worked at Walgreens when they came out, and uh, I got to get a free nail lamp because in the beauty department, they would give you um, products to try and also to help customers try them out. So I got to take a nail lamp home. It was different than this one. This is the bigger $80 version that can do all your nails at once. Um, the other one is just one that where you could fit one finger in. And that one died on me, so I bought the $80 one. So now we can move on to the next nail. And hopefully everything is just going to peel off very nicely for us. It doesn't look like this one wants to, though. Oh, it kind of wants to. Let's see. Come on. Uh, almost. Come on. Come on. Oh, here we go. Good job. Good job, nail adhesive sticker thing. Uh, and now it's going to come off pretty good. Because it's still sticking to the paper. Okay. This is where you got to definitely have patience because you just want to get it on there before it dries. Or before you accidentally crinkle it, and then you'll get pissed off because it's all crinkled, and then you can't do nothing with it. So I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was pulling back my cuticle on the side so that um, it could actually fit in there correctly. It's kind of hard to do it. I usually use my mouth when it's on the other side of the nail, but I don't want to show you guys me doing that. Uh, so then we press it down. Right? Make sure it's on the, the cuticle pushing side, right? I definitely need another webcam, so I'm going to do this again in the future. Should be able to just pull this off. Oh, is it working? Yes, it is. Okay. I like cut it a little close though because it started to pull off the actual part that covers the nail, and we don't want that at all. But here we go. That looks right. And then we file the excess off. It's repetition. But when you're done, you're gonna be super happy because your nails are gonna look super cute. I have to, yeah, there's a tiny little piece right here. Don't really need to cut it off. Sometimes in the corners, you don't need to, like, chop it off. You can just press it down, and it'll stay there. And you got to be careful, too, when you're filing, not to file at, like, an angle like that. Make sure you're kind of doing it this way. Because if you do it this way, you're going to have a white spot along the top of your nail to show that you've been filing there. And you're going to be very upset with yourself that you've done that. Speaking from experience, and then having to redo it. So 
So, um, just do something really quick. There we go. Okay. Next one. So we're doing this one now. And hopefully it doesn't give us too much of a problem. It didn't. Oh my goodness. It's touch and go with these things. I'm surprised. Because they've been sitting in there in my little nail thing for a bajillion years. It's been a while since I've done my nails this way. So I'm pulling my cuticle back. Pressing here, making sure I still have enough room at the top to cover the rest of my nail. Making sure I'm not leaving any lines or bubbles. And I use my mouth this time because it's hard. <laughs> it's hard to show you. Okay, so then, well, you guys are starting to get the hang of it, right? You know how it goes. This one isn't cutting right here for some reason, and I'm afraid to press even harder because I don't want to stretch the applique. Because if you stretch it, it's going to look different, right? Which I kind of did right there, damn it. Oh, that hurt. That hurt real nice. This is going to be a little hard because it's a lot of a pleak on the side of my on my skin. These things are coming off. Maybe I'm talking too soon. Yeah. Yep, that one's coming up a little bit. Oh, please don't come up. Stay there. very seamless, but uh, it took longer than I hoped it would. And there's little bits and pieces. You also want to make sure that when you do this, you want to make sure it looks like natural and rounded, you know? You can kind of see here that it's a little boxy. Um, eventually that comes off. If it's outside the nail, see there, I rounded it off a little bit more. And it's happening over here a little bit, but I don't want to mess with that because it's already, the applique is already, um, it's stretched, so I'm kind of mushing it together, back together, so that it doesn't move anymore. Let's push that out of the way. And file the nail. And then it should just kind of peel away. Right? Yep. There we go. Two. So far? Four? Two in each hand? See a little bit of a, the applique on this side that I didn't peel off. But that's why we leave our, nail, or our thumbs for last, right? Because then uh, you can use your thumb to peel off whatever the hell else is going on that you don't want to have happen. So this is going to be um, very interesting because these two nails I have to use the excess strips to cover and that gets 
even more creative because you see the design on them, right? And you have to make sure whatever applique you're using, say I'm using this one on my nail, and I'm using half of this one to cover up whatever spot it didn't cover on my nail. So you want to make sure it kind of matches up or at least looks natural enough so that it's not, you know, like somebody looking at it very closely. They would have to look at it very closely to really notice, but um, they'd be like, what the hell's wrong with, you know, why does it look that way? Okay, so this strip is going to be a jerk. So we're going to have to take our time with this. And there's a hair in my mouth. Blech. This song is so much better in French. I don't know why they translated it. I love love with the three of us. J'aime l'amour à toi. It sounds so much better in French. I don't know why they did it this way. J'aime l'amour à toi. Hopefully it pops on so you guys can hear the difference in the quality. All right, so this, I'm probably going to kind of do this my own way, the way that I normally do it. And I'm kind of, I know I'm covering it, you guys, I'm sorry, but you guys are going to see exactly what I was talking about. Okay, do you see that? That spot that's missing? So now I have to get probably from here. It's the thinnest one, so it's the easiest one, but on the next nail, we're going to have to use one of the fatter ones, and that's why it's great that they give you more, because uh, you have more to screw up with. And I usually, I wait before I file everything off until I get the other side covered, because, oh crap, really? And it just doesn't want to come off. Oh, there we go. And it's okay if you mess up the strip because you're, you're just using it to cover up, right? And the plastic ripped. That's great. Okay, let's see if we can do this. So it looks like a, uh, most of it ripped off. Or not most of it, a little bit of it did. Which sucks. So we're going to make sure this comes off. And I know I say it can kind of come off a little jacked up, but you really don't want it to because if it's, then you're going to run out of strips. So I'm just matching up. Or am I going to match it up? Do I care? Let me stand up and do this and lean. So that kind of matches. I don't really care though. So we can do that. And you don't want to put it all the way over your nail as well because um, I'm going to push this down with my mouth. Because um, then it's going to leave a big bumpy line along here and it's going to be very noticeable. And you're going to be mad at yourself. So then here we go. Start cutting. It's coming off. Usually I like to save this side of the strip for my next nail, but... We have more here. I'm fine with it being rolled up into a little ball. Got my hair everywhere. Yeah, there's still a little bit on the sides here. And you want to make sure that you get as close to the nail as possible because if you have excess that's on your skin, it could potentially lift up the entire applique from your nail if you're washing your hands or doing the dishes. Um, so that's why it'd be good to not do that to yourself. And So look at I peeled it off. That means I could probably use this. Don't stick to me. Stay there. Yay. Oh no, it's moving, but that's okay. It should be fine. And I press that down. It looks like it's gonna be fine. Do that. And file. There we go. 
Yay, it's covered! And it looks nice. And when you're done pushing down, especially on the, you know, where you have to add excess on our extra strip or whatever, just keep pressing down just to make sure it sticks. It's good to do that uh, in between doing nails because um, in case it dries and you don't want it to bubble up all of a sudden. So it's coming along nice, right? Um, all right. So next finger, please don't mess up on me. Strip, please come off. Oh, it's work. Oh my goodness, it's work. Okay. Normally I hold on to these and I apply it the other way, but I'm liking the way it is. Oh god, it's sticking to my skin. Okay. So I wonder if I can use that strip right here if it isn't dried out. If it doesn't look all screwed up. But I might not use it. I don't know. I might just use an extra thingy. Yeah, I'll just use an extra thingy. That's too... That's too complicated. I don't feel like doing all that. So we'll fill another one of these. And it came off very nicely. And then I'll just leave the applique on that side because we don't really need to take it off. And uh, this is a lot that's going to be coming off, so. It's sticking to me again. Oh, my lanta. Okay. So I'm going to stretch the cuticle. And I'm pressing it down with my mouth because cause that's just how I do things. And I'll peel that off. So we don't need that anymore. You see? Looks like a hot mess. But... It'll be a beautiful black swan, or whatever, a beautiful butterfly at the end. There's really no technique to this. Just kind of use the edges to cut the applique to fit the shape of your nail. You know. At the edge, or the seam, I guess, between the two different appliques, it's kind of tricky because uh, they're stuck to each other and they're also stuck to your nail. So you got to be super nice, super nice to your nail when you're doing it. Nope, oh, see, I fucked up. I skinned it. Damn it. Well, we have enough applique on the other side of the nail to uh, cover that if it looks a little jacked up. So we'll peel that last, actually, just to see what this looks like. Oh, it doesn't look bad. It looks fine, actually. I don't think you've really noticed it. Do you notice it? No, it's there. It's fine. I hope it rains, because my plants are drying out. I watered them, but I didn't water them that much, because it's hot outside. I was hoping it would rain. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay, that worked. So we got a big piece right there that we could stick over there. Um, it looks okay. I would say it's okay. It's fine, I don't care. That's something that you'd have to be staring at somebody's nail to really observe. Okay. All 
Uh oh. No, I didn't. Okay, I thought I messed it up. I thought I filed my nail the way I said not to file it. Okay, that looks okay. Right? Yeah. Christian All right. Just four left. This is going by super quick. I'm really surprised. I think because I didn't have any polish or anything beforehand, but I'm going to rub this down to make it stay. I'm kind of afraid it's going to come up. Yeah. It's good to stretch every once in a while. Stretch your hands and your fingies. Oops. Keep in mind, be careful when you're, uh, you know, when it's contacting because it can rub things because it's still sticky on top. And you'll be upset. And we don't want that. We don't want anybody upset. All right. This is going to be a little, a little fucky. There we go. Well, I wanted that to come off, but I guess he didn't want to listen to me. Yes, stupid, stupid thing. So I might, sometimes, I get this to cover the whole nail. I get lucky. Um, so we'll see if this happens. I tend to stretch it all the way to the cuticle, and it covered it, oh my god! It did it. Look at that, you guys. That's good. That's good. Right? It's there. Yay! It's all there. Okay. So that means we don't have to mess around with an extra piece. But we know we have that there. And then we also have these three here still. Right? So, that was very quick. And that was very nice because we didn't have to add more crap to the other side of my nail. I'm not fluent in French, but I like the music. The pop music. I don't know what kind of genre this would be called in France, but um, I tend to just sing it as I hear the words. And I think I fucked up. I did. Oh. So can you guys see that? You probably can't. Like right there. Yeah, you see it right there. I fucked up. But that's okay. Because we could probably push it up to stay. And then the gel... We'll keep it together. Yep, fix that. Oh, my thumb's in the way. How the hell did I show you that before? Well, you're not supposed to see anything. It's supposed to look seamless now, so. But yay, we fixed it. You want to make sure you file under the sides of your nails as well because then there's going to be excess there. And again, like I said before earlier, it could uh, potentially lift the applique from your nail and you don't want that to happen. Especially when you're out and your nails are looking nice and you go to the bathroom to fix your makeup and then you wash your hands and then it comes up and you're going to be like, oh my god, what do I do? Yeah. All right, let's see how this side goes. I kind of have trouble because I'm right-handed. So it gets a little difficult for me to do. Okay. Zoopy, 
I managed to do it on this side. Oh my god. This is a successful nail doing thing. And a successful nail doing stream. This is the quickest I could say I've ever done my nails, I believe. I usually do when I'm watching TV. Again, this is my first creative stream. So I, have, I really don't know. And I, was, I don't have my chat up and I feel like a jerk. So let's just check on that for a second. Nope, it's all good. And then again, my, my viewers aren't used to me doing creative streams anyway. But I figured I would branch out. Um, because I've been wanting to stream today, but I have a lot of work to do. Because I'm a professor. So I have a lot of reading to do for my classes. And I have lessons to plan. Um... I have classes tomorrow, so I've been procrastinating all day. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about it because I get stressed out. The nice thing about it fitting to the other side of your cuticle, like stretching there completely and easily is that you don't have much excess to peel off from the sides of your nails. And you could just press it down and make sure it stays on there. Right? And then we just do this. piece anymore so we can push that aside. And let's hope that the last of this maybe yes it did. Sweet. That's another book to That's another good to I tend to have very long thumbnails. But this big, the biggest strip usually fits. It's when they get out to like here that I have start to have a little problem and have to uh, get super creative with how I how I do it. So we have this one. That one's left. This is in French, this is Cambodian, for those of you who can't recognize. A band called Dengue Fever. Very Kill Bill esque. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> I don't know the words to this. There's a few of them I do know the words to. Again, the more you listen to something, the more you get used to it and you can say it. Ow, ow, ow. I stabbed myself a little too hard. I'm trying to get this off here. Oh, 
was pretty easy. You just gotta file. Press down a little bit right now. Press it down. And then it does this. It's best to file in one direction. Because if you go back and forth, you risk lifting up the applique. And we all will know by now what happens when that happens, right? Very good! Yay! I have fat hands, but that's okay because I got nice nails. Last one, and then we get to put on the gel. The gel lamp cures. Oops, alright, last one. I thought it would be seamless, but I guess not. Uh, shit. Okay, I want to use the other nail to get this off because I don't want it to screw up the nail that I just put on or the applique that I just put on. But I guess it's just not going to give me an easy time. And it's hard to do it with my right hand because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, that kind of works. All right, all right. Don't screw up. Don't screw up. Oh, yes. Okay, we can lift it off from the side, maybe. No. Who knows? Maybe. There we go. Peel that off because we don't need it. I don't need it. And this nail is a little shorter than my other one. I don't really care that they're uneven, but... Because you can't really, I mean... It's not something that you really notice. Oh, Chicago! And I stretched it out a little bit because I didn't put it on. Okay, there we go. I ripped that a little bit, but I didn't rip it. I ripped it right up to the nail. Yeah, the gel, the gel lamp only goes for like 30 to 40 seconds, I think it is. Probably 30. So I constantly press it over and over. Um, so it can take it anywhere for, from another 5 to 10 minutes. Je danse. I think this will be okay. I think it'll, oh, I don't know, I can't. Oh, let me have to press this down. You had to give me a hard time, final nail. You had to be a bitch. This should be fine. It looks like it's coming along. It should be fine. For those of you who are interested to know what Pandora channel I have on, I put in April March Radio because April March, um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Death Proof. Uh, there's a song at the end of the movie it's called Chick Habit, but she did it in French. April March is pretty awesome. Uh, Friends Gall is also on here, but the radio channel is called April March. If you guys are interested in the music. Very chill. Um, lots of instrumentals, guitar riffs. It's, 
actually, it's pretty nice. And the cuticles are looking a little dry, but it's fine. So we did it! Now I have to plug in this lovely thing. We don't need this or this anymore, right? We don't need it. So let me put that over there. Let me pick up this garbage because I don't want it to stick to the cured nail. Look at that, all that trash. And the fan isn't helping. I forgot I have the fan here. It should be fine. Oh god, it's not fine. It's everywhere. Oh no! Come on, get in my hand. Oh man, I dropped a yep, I dropped a bunch. That's fine. I'll pick it up later. Actually, I should probably pick it up now because the kitty cats will eat this. I think it's yummy and it's really nuts and they're stinky. All over there. Oh, we have a piece of tape that we can use to pick it up. Sweet! to the trash again. I'm going to plug in the lamp. Hopefully it reaches. It should. It barely does. This might be a little bright. Oh, I didn't plug it in. I mean, I didn't press the switch. I'm using a surge protector. There we go. So this is going to be a little bright. Um, I'm going to turn this this way because we have these. I do not want them to get cured inside of the glass bottle. Um, just kind of shake it up. Again, press your nails down really quick again. Or press your pleats down. See, that was about 30 seconds, wasn't it? And then we have the Sally Hansen Nail Clean Cleanser Pad. Um, probably only going to need one, maybe two, because these aren't as these aren't very thick. I tend to just use alcohol wipes, but uh, since I have this stuff here, I might as well use it. And I tend to goop this on. I hit my cuticles. Try not to get it everywhere, and it's not, you know, painting your toenails and then you can scrape it off in the shower type of thing. And I like to get under the nail so that the applique stays on. So I do four at once. And you got to be a little quick about it. So if I stop talking or I lose my train of thought, it's because I'm, I want to do this quickly so it doesn't, because the fan's hitting me as well. I'm sorry I'm shaking the camera. Please don't throw up again so basically the edge of the nail not fully under the nail because that's just gonna feel really weird and you're gonna wind up peeling it off and um, that's a no-no you don't want to peel it off and if this everything goes well this stuff can last up to two weeks I might switch to the other bottle because I feel like I'm not getting enough of the gel the liquid gel. Normally I paint, oh no, I don't, because I don't have free hands. So scratch that. So now you guys all know my secret. So how I have my nails done all the time. 
I don't draw it on myself, but I do take the time to do it, which is always good to do. So then we place all four of our fingies in here. Try not to hit the inside of the thing, because then you'll get gel everywhere, which I've gotten gel on here. I don't know if you can kind of see the shiny, but this is a very awkward position for me. Um, my arm is stretched at a very weird angle, but... Okay, I don't like this song. Whatever this is, get out of here. So I do this about three or four times, and then I switch my, I turn my hand over so that it cures at all angles. And it's kind of good to uh, flex your fingers while you're in there so that the gel dries, but it doesn't dry on top of your cuticle on the sides of your nail. So I kind of just press and pull at the same time. You know, I don't want to hear you either right now. That's better. So this is the third time. And we'll do the thumbs last because uh, I have to have it at the edge of the table right here. But it looks like it's curing nicely. They're super shiny. So it makes the, uh, well, let's just call it a manicure, I guess, because it basically is, right? And don't do what I just did. Don't hit your nail at the top of there because you're going to be having to paint it over and then one nail is going to look super bulky compared to the other. So this is the fourth time. And then we're going to turn the nails over and probably do it two times. And then we have all these extras, which you can save if you want to put it like in a little bag so that uh, they don't dry out as quickly in case something happens to your nail while you're out and it peels off and you can just, you know, put it back in there or take another applique and put it on there. So this is getting the gel under the nail that you apply to the edge of your nail. My battery is going low. Enter. Perfect, because we finished right on time. Right? How many? How much percentage do I have? I don't know. It should be fine. It's the house phone. Sorry. So I tend to wipe at the end. That's what she said. Not very funny. It's kind of gross. Um, which bottle did I use that I didn't like? It was probably the other one. I don't remember. This one seems fine. It has enough gel in it, so we're going to do it. I accidentally put too much gel here, but it should be fine. It kind of makes it easier because then you could just sweep along the edge right here, right? But again, you got to be careful because then it could leak all over your finger and then you're going to have cured gel on your finger. And uh, if the once if you use a lamp a lot, it could kind of burn your finger. So you got to be super careful. It gets, I mean, not to the point where, you know, you're, you're scarred forever, but it, it hurts. It does not feel good. It's very hot. Um, I've done it before, so I know what it feels like, so when it does happen again, I'm kind of like, oh, but I kind of, um, let myself just sit through it, because I don't, it's, it's not as bad as the surprise of it was, uh, the way, oh my lanta, it's not as bad as when it happened the first time, because I'm used to the feeling, because I've done it a few times to myself, even when I haven't gotten gel all over my fingers, so... Thank you, Medela. And again, when you add extra, an extra applique to the side of the nail that look what we did earlier when it wasn't covered, it's good to add a little bit extra gel on that 
top coat around the top of it, especially along the seam. You can't even really see it. I'm surprised. Wow, it like matches up perfectly with it. Um, oh, I'm probably going to have to plug my laptop in. Yeah, probably will. God, OBS, why you use so much power? Just press enter on that. Hopefully it doesn't die by then. I'm going to grab it, actually. I'm not really worried about it messing up anything because it's like cured already. So I don't want the screen to come off in the middle because that would be very bad. And this is where using your mouth for things comes in handy. Oh, God. Trying to hurry, but I'm trying to take my time. Okay. And it's plugged in. And let me just assess what I did. Any damage? Did I do any damage? No, because I had it under the lamp first. Which is great because it's cured a little bit. And now we do this four times and then we do it twice on the other side. And again, if you feel like it's, I didn't really get it on my, the side of my nails this time, so I don't really have to stretch my cuticle out. My chicken soup smells good. I'm so hungry. I'm smelling my chicken soup and looking over at the kitchen. I'm not paying attention. Do you smell the chicken soup, Pita? How many was that? I think there was three. So one more and then two on the other side and then we'll do the same with the thumbs. And then I'm going to numb on my chicken soup because I'm so hungry. This is actually a good investment. Um, you can go to any Walgreens and get this lamp and it comes with, I'm not sure how many strips it comes with, but it comes with um, I think it comes with actual nail polish, gel polish, which I have a few, and uh, maybe next time, how many was that? I don't remember. I think that's four. It should be fine. Um, which you can obviously use like nail polish, but there's a, there's a base coat, and then you put the polish on, and then there's this, the top coat. Um, and these aren't even nail polish, gel nail polish strips. I used actual nail polish strips from Stanley Hansen. Uh, so I, I got a little, uh, I, I cheated, I went around, but I mean, it's the same thing. Okay, now we're going to do the thumbs and the yep, yep. Oops, I got some gel on the side of my nail. Well, that's great. It's going to burn probably. So you want to make sure you push it up to the cuticle. It's okay if it comes a little bit on the outside because it'll come off as long as it's not like a big goopy. Actually, I'm actually making it a little bit goopy, but it's not. 
Anyway. Oh god, it's goop. And if that's the case, just like if you have excess nail polish, just keep painting and the, the brush will pick it up, right? You know? You know. And I'm probably going to hold the lamp because it makes it easier. Ugh, ugh, ugh. I got my thumbs in there. See? Oh, it burns. Oh, man. Yep. Yep. I knew it was going to happen. Ugh. It goes away after a little bit, so you're fine. If it happens to you, you'll be okay. You'll live. Right, Peter? You can lie for an hour and 17 minutes. So that's that's pretty, I mean, that was long, but it was pretty quick compared to how long it takes me when I'm sitting and watching TV. And plus I had everything out on my, this is a drafting table, um, out on the drafting table pretty quickly, or which made everything a lot quicker. Having all your stuff in front of you helps. Because um, if you're just, Digging around for your shit and your bag or whatever, you risk messing up your nails as well as um, just taking forever. I keep getting hair in my mouth. Ugh. Ugh. How many times was that? I think that was. Was this three or four? We'll do it one more time. What's another 30 seconds, right? Definitely need to get another webcam so I can connect it so that you guys can see me when I'm talking. Because I know it's not really fun to just see somebody's hands the whole time. Ugh. All right. Um, this might be bright. See, I'll turn it. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, I'll do it that way. Turn it upside down so it's not on everybody's face. Oh, God, it's so bright. So what is it? Model SH901, description Sally Hansen LED lights. Power 12 volts, 7 watts. Manufacturing date June 2012. So... Warning, household use only. Do not immerse in water. Ultraviolet radiation may cause, cause injury to eyes and skin, such as skin aging and eventually skin cancer. Oh, that's great! Read instructions carefully before you use. Wear protective goggles if necessary. Certain medicines and cosmetics may increase sensitivity, hence the gel. But basically, everything at this stage gives you cancer, right? There's nothing that doesn't give you cancer now. Let's do this one more time. See him just pressing the button at the top, this one. And it has an automatic timer. The thing is kind of old. Obviously, June 2012, I'm, I'm pretty sure I have had it for that long. Um, I know I've had it for at least three years. So, yeah. So I have to press in the button a little bit, a few times. All right, um, I'm going to unplug that. I'm 
just to save electricity. And then what we're going to do is take one of these, which is one nail cleanser pad saturated with 99% isopropyl alcohol. So it's basically an alcohol swab that they use to wipe on boo-boos or on your skin before they give you a shot or draw blood or whatever. I would say this probably has a little bit of vitamin E in it. Let me see, because it feels a little softer. No, just isopropyl alcohol. Maybe it's just the, the type of cloth, because it's not as thick. It's super thin. That's why I like using the actual alcohol pad, because I feel like it takes more of the sticky off. So just rub the nail. I go under a little bit because I have cats, and if it's sticky under there, cat hair is going to stick under there. I'm going to use this other one because that one dried out a little bit. You're going to walk around like a baby for a little bit with your fingers. Uh, it helps to wash your hands afterwards. It makes it uh, makes the stickiness not be as sticky. And see, like I, I put too much of a coat under this nail. So I can feel it now, but it'll get, once you uh, are starting to grab stuff and you're moving around and touching things, it's going to, it's going to separate from your skin so it won't feel as weird. You know, that, that feeling you get when you have dirt on your nails and you know it's there and you just want to pick it off. I'm a gardener, so that's what happens to me. And I'm getting a phone call. And that's it. And we are done. We are done move all this crap to the side. I'm put all this in here actually. Let's set down this so I don't knock it down. And we're set. So I, I put an extra one of these back in here. I don't really need to keep the fire layer on the wooden stick, but I will anyway, because I don't feel like throwing it out. And then the extra nail cleeks. Put in there. And that's garbage, so I will throw that out. And that's it. Finny! Nice, right? My nails aren't uh, very long yet, but um, they will get there. Especially, gel is very good to keep. I mean, anybody who's been to the salon knows that gel does very well keeping your nails protected, especially if you put um, actual tips over your nail, which I don't recommend doing, and not going to the salon and getting your nails shaved down to almost the skin, because then um, when you take off whatever you've put on there, especially the powder gel that they use and they put on with a brush, it doesn't, it hurts your nails so much. Um, the liquid gel is a lot better a lot better. Every other nail is shiny but this one, but I can fix that later. I would lick it, but that would taste like alcohol and that'd be gross. But you see? Nice laciness. And it looks like somebody has taken three hours out of their lives and painted it on your nail. When they really haven't. It was just you sitting there for an hour and a half. So that's it, guys. Um, I want to stream something later, but I have a lot of work to do. Uh, I have a lot of work to do. So I might not play tonight because I have a lot of reading and lesson planning to do. Um, but I will try and be on. Um, thank you for watching. And again, uh, Shy Bridge, thank you for the follow. Um, definitely DM me your Facebook page and I'll check it out. Okay? Alright, guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Kitty butts forever!